Hey guys, what's up? Spectre again. Today I just wanted to talk about the subtleties of game design. I've worked on two different titles and a few mods. My work has been centered around character design and world building. When it comes to world building, most think about scale, but to me what makes a world feel real and lived in are the minuscule details. Sure, New York City is a jungle of twisted steel and glass, but what about the stories told deep within it, behind that glass, in the alleys between the buildings? That's where I think the division shines. I've always found it interesting how in many games, devs spend countless hours on things players may never see. One example of this can be found in the game's many memorials. I've touched on this in my 9-11 and The Division video, but posted bills and messages from loved ones often helped reunite New Yorkers in real-world disasters. If players were to zoom in on the flyers posted in-game, they'd find real photos with real details for each missing person. Now some of them are cheeky jokes, and I'm sure that most of these pictures are of the dev teams, but small doses of realism like this go a long way for players who do notice them. Scavenging in the Division was one of my favorite features during the closed and open beta, and although most of the apartments look somewhat similar, the stories they tell, through simple clutter, were parts that captivated me, actively halting me in my tracks. Small details, like piles of dirty dishes and bottles of water piled next to a bed showed me that someone was caring for a loved one and didn't want to leave their side. Subtle narratives like this really made me stop and appreciate the game world. While I found a lot of pride in maxing out my base of operations, I seldom explored it, only making my way through the usual vendors and containers, never straying from my usual path, until one night I did. And as I walked among the survivors, I found a beautiful scene playing out before me. I saw children playing, consoling one another. I saw them drawing in an attempt to keep their spirits high. Adults would sit around exchanging stories and playing music, hanging Christmas decorations. I passed by the myriad bunk beds and I saw some sleeping away and others crying, tossing and turning amidst whispered conversations of fear and reassurance. The JTF would swap war stories after hours, and people would watch old black and white movies together. It's amazing how players who spend so much time in a game world can whisk past such carefully placed and thought out content. As games progress and become more complex, it's safe to say that just as we do in the real world, at times we need to slow down and take it all in. Dark winter.